wood, glorious wood, beautiful mahogany wood. We're looking at the combing boards on the outside below the windshield. Glass is still out. We've been working on it this week. Some sanding and some filling. More to be done. More staining, more sealing, and of course more varnish. But I wanted to show you a little bit of some of the problems of dealing with older boats. This roof of this boat <coughs> is wood with canvas stretched over it. And over time, the canvas ages, and you start to have problems, like little cracks develop, like right here. And they can get bigger, and they can split even. And you can end up with patches getting put in. There's some more. And there's a spot that's been filled in, and still yet there's another crack around the edge of it. Altogether, there's about, oh, maybe a dozen of these kinds of spots on the roof of the boat and so we've been having a debate here lately are we going to take off the entire roof and try and replace the entire roof or are we just going to try and repair it and maybe worry about replacing it later and right now I think we're opting for going for the repairs although the more we see the more we think maybe that decision is fraught with folly but We'll decide yet here before we're done this season. So another part of the reason why things take longer than what you might think they would. It's been enjoying a pleasant breeze up here on the boat this evening. We're getting ready for boat races out on the uh, St. Clair River here at Port Huron on Sunday. People having a good time. Maybe you can hear the music in the background. So. These are still the environs for mental pause until we can get her finished and get her in the water. That's going to be next year, I think. Thanks for visiting. We'll have more as time goes by from mental pause. The 1960 36 foot Chris Craft.